Welcome to Sports News. The Super Eagles have recorded their best improvement in the monthly FIFA ranking in recent years, moving 10 places up to the 50th spot in the world and joined 7th in the continent. The Super Eagles have been impressive in their 2018 World Cup qualifiers, with two victories in two games already decided. Senegal dethroned African champions Côte d'Ivoire as the continent's best-playing team, moving up to 33rd, while the Ivorians dropped to 34th. Tunisia also shared the 34th spot with Côte d'Ivoire. The pharaohs of Egypt moved 10 places to the 36th spot and 4th in Africa. The desert foxes of Algeria are ranked 5th. Congo DR are ranked 6th and Burkina Faso share the 7th spot with Nigeria. And in club soccer, the annual LMC Super 4 has been scheduled for December the 7th through the 11th in Enugu State. The tournament will feature reigning league champions Enugu Rangers, Rivers United, Wiki Tourists and Federation Cup champions FC Fanyuba. All matches are scheduled to take place at the Nnamdi Azikiwe Stadium. And elsewhere, former Liverpool and England captain Steven Gerrard has officially announced his retirement from professional football. The 36-year-old has decided to call time on his career after his LA Galaxy side were knocked out of the MLS playoffs earlier this month. Gerrard made 710 appearances for Liverpool and famously inspired the Reds to Champions League glory in 2005. At international level, he won 114 caps for England, making him the fourth most capped player of all time behind Peter Shilton, Wayne Rooney and David Beckham. In Formula One, Jensen Button says he expects the Abu Dhabi GP to be his last race in Formula One despite having an option to return in 2018. The Brits, a 17-year veteran in the sport, announced he was taking a sabbatical earlier this season but still signed a two-year contract with McLaren and stressed that he was not retiring. His McLaren deal gives the Woking team an option to reinstate him in two years' time should either Stoffel Van Doorn or Fernando Alonso leave, but Button now insists he doesn't want to return after this weekend's Grand Prix. That's the finish line on Sports News and back to Gimba with the rest of the news at 10. Voter and right experts in the United States have launched a bid to seek a vote recount in three key Rust Belt states as pressures build among liberals to challenge election results. Donald Trump narrowly beat Hillary Clinton in Wisconsin. But some say that the results need to be more closely analyzed. Green Party presidential candidate Jill Steen says that she has gathered enough money to fund a recount in Wisconsin. However, some experts say that there is no indication that Mr. Trump's win was down to cyber hacking. On Tuesday, a group of experts led by vote and rights lawyer John Bonifaz and Alex Helderman the director of the University of Michigan Center for Computer Security and Society, had contacted Mrs. Clinton's campaign. The experts urged her campaign to request recount in two states narrowly won by Mr. Trump's, Wisconsin and Pennsylvania, as well as Michigan, where he had a small lead. In the, in the meantime, Mr. Trump has called for national unity in an address to mark the Thanksgiving holiday. In the wake of what he calls a long and bruising election campaign, he says that emotions in the country are raw. The time had come, he said, to begin to heal our divisions, but added that tensions just don't heal overnight. Earlier, he announced the appointment of two women to his cabinet, both of whom had been fiercely critical of his campaign during the presidential elections. In his Thanksgiving address, Mr. Trump acknowledged the bitterness still remaining after bruising election campaigns. Less to call this nation our home, and that's what America is. It is our home. It's where we raise our families, care for our loved ones, look out for our neighbors, and live out our dreams. It's my prayer that on this Thanksgiving, we begin to heal our divisions and move forward as one country, strengthened by shared purpose and very, very common resolve. In declaring this national holiday, President Lincoln called upon Americans to speak with one voice and one heart. That's just what we have to do. 
We've just finished a long and bruising political campaign. Emotions are raw and tensions just don't heal overnight. It doesn't go quickly, unfortunately. But we have before us the chance now to make history together, to bring real change to Washington, real safety to our cities, and real prosperity to our communities, including our inner cities. So important to me and so important to our country. But to succeed, we must enlist the effort of our entire nation. U.S. President-elect Donald Trump. The Supreme Court, that will be in the main news again. The Supreme Court indeed today affirmed Mr. Ayutthaya Jagade as the candidate of the People's Democratic Party in the Undo State governorship elections on Saturday. The Apex Court upheld appeal court's verdict. Also today, the PDP's candidate in the Undo State poll, Ayutthaya Jagade, requested for the postponement of Saturday's exercise, but IMEC has insisted on continuing with the election. And that's how it's been on the news at 10 tonight. I want to thank you so much indeed for watching. On behalf of everyone here, have a splendid night, guys. Good night.